may or may not be you as well. Can you talk a little bit about why that switching, like particularly that notion of wanting to create um, a voice for a poem that is explicitly not yours? Literature offers opportunities. And just because in this very, very brief period of history, we have made almost uh, like the last 80 years or so, we've made all poetry confessional in nature. Um, that doesn't mean that it hasn't, that we haven't done other things with it. Um, and I think what happens now, and I, I'm, I'm talking about it in one of the podcasts on Andrew Marvel, we go back and we look at Andrew Marvel's poetry and said, he's a sexist pig. He's an, he's an asshole. Look what he's doing. And slow down. We don't know if Andrew Marvel's a sexist pig, but we do know his speaker is. Now you have to ask yourself, is Andrew Marvel so ignorant as to misunderstand the character he's created into his coy mistress? Knowing that there's a long tradition of that sort of lecherous behavior going on. And if he isn't the speaker, then what is he up to? But it's very easy to condemn Marvel because we make that sloppy reading 